Hey everyone, um, welcome back to Caden's Corner. As a matter of fact, I should say to myself, welcome back. I haven't been on this channel in so long. I helped create the channel and then, uh, you know, Caden and Caden's mom has taken it over and doing all the shorts videos. And I see a lot of the subs her, their subscribers going up, his subscribers, so he's doing well. Um, I just wanted to do this video. I, I, just, I just recently thought about something. He's turning two years old now. And uh, thank you for all the comments that I'm reading and the likes and all that stuff. It's very, very cool. It's been two years uh, coming in next month. It'll be two years. It's been a, just an amazing journey. Uh, just watching the little guy grow. He's talking now, saying colors and words and alphabet. And it's just amazing. And there's nothing like it. Um, we wouldn't change uh, any, any of it for anything in the world because, you know, there was tough times. Hard times, difficult times, but it was it's all worth it and uh, we can't wait to see what the future holds for Cuckoo Baby, aka Kaden Mohanan. Uh but this video is going to be about just just going back to the first couple of uh years, first year, there's a lot of it was very overwhelming. There were so many things that we were recommended to buy, buy this, buy this, don't buy this. So we were kind of overwhelmed and really didn't know what to buy. Uh, we watched a lot of videos. And some of the other YouTubers really helped us out as well. So I wanted to pay forward, right? So I came up with the top 10 items and I'm going to try to put it in order. This first video is going to be 10 through 6 and I'll break it up because I don't want it to be too long. Um, 10 items that we think are very critical in the first year, year and a half for your child. Again, um, everyone is different depending on... on your situations, uh, your support, and all that, and your financial situation, all that comes into play. This is just what I thought. And again, um, if you have, if you guys have uh, an experience of, of some other things that may be even a more of a priority, obviously the basics we all know, uh, feel free to comment, okay? But the, the goal is to just share some information because I really want to pay forward because we really learn a lot with some of these other YouTubers, really helped us kind of understand what to get, uh, what not to get, because you end up just spending so much money on your little one because you want them to have everything that they need uh, you know, once they're here in the world, right? And, and sometimes you realize that you end up not using a lot of these things and your friends, your family members, they buy you, they spend a lot of their money to buy you stuff and you don't end up using it. So it's very hard and, and I, I feel so bad a, a couple of things. Um, but for the most part, uh, we did our research. So we when we did our registry, which is also important, we only placed things that were essential we needed. So for the most part, we came up pretty good. A couple of items that we, we didn't use that much, um, we ended up you know putting in the marketplace and, and sold it for a nominal amount for somebody who may need it. Okay, so that being said, let's go and see what are the items that we're going to need, okay? So let's, um, the first, we're gonna go from 10 to six, right? So the first item, number 10, number 10 is, the baby swinger. Now, the baby swinger is a really cool product. It's a really good product. Um, it helps the baby swing. It helps them rock. You play music on it. The one we got was from Greco. Um, it's great. It's it's quite expensive. I think it was about a couple hundred dollars, if not more. So it can get expensive. And again, it's not something that's required. Uh, some babies they just love to sleep you know, next to their mom or in a bassinet, which we're gonna discuss later um and, and things of that nature but if you could get it it's definitely something useful Kaden used it for the first few months he loved it. he was sleeping on it the music comes on it's very soothing and it rocks and swings and he really loved it he, he used to fall asleep really quickly but as he got a little bit older uh let's say around 10 months or something he was he was really getting uncomfortable with it um he didn't want to get strapped down on it he would move and he would try to get off of it so it causes a little, a little scare for us, so we kind of stop using it. Once in a while, if he's watching television or something, we put him there and rock some music and swinging, and he, he enjoys that. But for the most part, that's why that's, it's still top 10, but it's at, it's at number 10. Okay, so number nine on the list is the diaper pail. Again, this could be number one, depending on who you speak to. So we thought, it, it, you know, you, you could just do a, just a regular diaper you know, garbage bag or, or tie it up 
but it starts to add up really quick your diaper and that's another one we're going to talk about the diaper pail is really important because things can get really messy and really stinky man really quick so uh diaper pail again uh, i'm not promoting any particular brand but you know the pictures i have is the ones that i uh, that i bought but you could try all different kinds you know they all serve the same purpose you want to budget you know you want to take a look at the price of these things as well and read the reviews on amazon and so forth so diaper pail is very 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 important that's going to be number nine on the list um number eight uh going along with that uh well actually number eight i'm going to say is the thermometer okay um very 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 important guys uh, this could be number one also again it's just my list of things because hopefully this is something that you don't use every day um especially when they're little uh some of them run a high temperature or something they just have a, their, their body's very 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 warm so you don't you may not even realize <clears throat> whether they have a high temperature or not so you know as as first-time parents we're always panicking we're hearing some horror stories about fever and all that stuff and this is also during the whole pandemic time so we're very very scared so we 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 got a baby thermometer and we used to check them all the time see what's his temperature if it was a little bit too high we would panic if it's a little bit too low we would panic so rest assured um your baby's fine and and you should check it and you should practice checking the monitor you realize well let me tell you something guys uh, you may think that you don't know much but you do it's it's all inside of us i think we're born with the instinct the parental instinct right that's what we call it the motherly instinct the fatherly instinct so you'll be fine but uh, a thermometer is something that i think that's going to come in, in handy for uh, for everybody so obviously you know when you when you pass a certain temperature you, you know you want to call your doctor or ER, all that stuff but you learn that i don't want to get into that topic um and on top of the thermometer um this is not on the list but you know you want to have children's tylenol or um, you know children's motrin again the baby's too young for it but as they get older you may it's something that you want to have in your medicine cabinet okay so that was 10 uh, that was eight so number seven number seven let's see what should i use for number seven number seven diaper bag right okay diaper bag is self-explanatory very 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 important make sure you get a good one the one that we got from debug is very good a lot of compartments because Man, kudos to my wife, man, because she packs that like she's traveling long distance to another country where we're just going across the street. She packs it with everything, uh, a little too much in my opinion. Uh, diapers, clothes, bottles, milk, food, you name it, everything is in there, right? Toys. So uh, it's very important. You want to get something that's very comfortable. The one that we got, it also turned into a changing station. So if you go somewhere, if you're going to the bathroom in a restaurant, some of these places are not baby friendly, kids friendly. So you you have your own little changing station inside the, the bag, which is very, very, very cool, guys. So really do your research and make sure you have a really good um, diaper bag. And now uh, number six. Number six is the bottle warmer. I'm going to go with the bottle warmer as my number six item. Now, this is an unsung hero right here because... We were kind of, you know, we we're kind of watching our, our budget and everything. We we're like, do we really need it? We could just microwave it, which we don't like to do anyway with all that radiation stuff. Uh, we can just heat up hot water and put the bottle on it. Guess what? We tried that for a couple of days. Try to do that in the middle of the night or in the early morning at 3 a.m. Try to heat up the hot water to put your bottle on it. Try that. It's not going to work when your little guy is screaming, right? So bottle warmer, very convenient, very efficient, very, very useful highly recommend i highly suggest that uh you you invest in one and and they range from like 25 30 dollars to all the way to 200 don't get so fancy and again to all my first time parents do not get overly fancy you want to experience the struggles it's important it's going to develop your skill set as a parent and you're going to realize you got this okay all right so we're going to wrap that up that's from 10 to 6 i believe i got uh all from 10 to 6, I had a swinger, the diaper pail, um, thermometer, uh, the bag, and the bottle warmer, right? Okay, so 10 through 6, we're done. And um, yeah, thanks again. So I'm going to do another video. I, ju I just am trying not to uh, do long videos anymore. So we're going to do another video for the top five items, five through one, that are essential um, in your early stages of you know, your baby and parent, okay? 
Until then, thank you so much. Hope everybody's doing well. And guys, comment on, on this video for anything else that's related to your child, new parenting. We are experts now for the first two years. We're experts. We don't know anything about schooling and all this other stuff that's coming our way, but we can help you right now. So feel free to comment anytime. I love this topic, okay? Until then, see you later. Take care. Bye-bye. He's out, yo. <laughs> no, nah, bro. No, nah, I'm not burping you like this. Uh.